Hello, Tiny Toots here. Today we're going to replace the torso of this model with some text and we're going to recreate the background all in five minutes or so. First, we will need a lasso tool so we can select her blouse or her sweater. If you use the lasso tool and you misclick, just press backspace. Also, to zoom, click Ctrl plus or Ctrl minus to zoom out. To move around on the zoomed in image, hold space bar and then click on your left mouse button and drag it around. Now that you've finished the main selection, we need to add a little piece. Select the add to selection button and draw another small piece between her hairs there. Now that it's done, click refine edge and let's make it a little bit smoother. With the lasso tool selected, right click on the selection and select layer via copy. Click the little lock on the background layer so we can modify it. Right click on the background layer, the text background layer, not the icon, and select duplicate layer. Now we need to insert the text with the text tool. Click the text tool and drag a wide rectangle. Copy your text and paste it in with Ctrl V. Make modifications to the text so you can have whatever font, size and position you like for your model. When you're happy with the text, Ctrl click the T from the layer you have the text in and then hide the layer. Select the layer with a cutout sweater. Go and select the selection tool and right click your selection. Click select inverse and hit delete. Now step two, we have to build the background behind her so she seems see-through. Select the layer with a whole image at the bottom of the layer stack. If you don't have it, re-import your original image by drag and dropping it on top. Use the patch tool, as you see, to make the background behind her. Make layer 1 visible again and add the final touches at the border between the real background and the background that we recreated. Now if you want the text to pop up better, you can control click the icon of layer 1 and then with the lasso tool or selection tool selected, right click on the selection and select stroke and finally use the eraser tool to erase a little bit from the edge so that she is more transparent and that's it tiny toots out